day to all of you that are in this master class. Is that wonderful? Just the family feeling. That's what I love about this class is that um, Jeremiah and Teresa have, have provided such a family environment and so relational. And that's what you want. You want, you know, um, God, who is your friend and, and his friends coming alongside of you to empower you and to impact you. And um, I just love uh, this team. And thank you, Jeremiah and Teresa. And don't you love Teresa's voice? I could sit and listen to her voice for hours. <laughs> they, yeah, just speak more, pray more. It's, it's awesome. But um, yeah, your son is amazing, by the way, to both of you. And well done and raising uh, just the most amazing children. You are awesome. And uh, we just need you to move out here now and then everything would be be wonderful. <laughs> but anyways, um, I have a lot of content to cover today with you. And I'm very, very excited to release impartation and see what the Holy Spirit's going to do. Um, one of my... Um, I believe my purpose in life is to bring inspiration. And if I can inspire you as authors, if I can put within you a deposit of, of faith, inspiring you to just pull out everything that he's put in there, then I've done my job. So uh, today it's my honor to share with you some things that I feel will be helpful. Some of these things might even be a little bit of a repeat from some of the things that you've heard because I'm the last um, speaker for this week. And so some of them might be a little bit repetitive, but um, this is good because space repetition is like just getting a hammer and a nail and just putting it right inside. So the more you hear it, the more established it becomes. But I wanted to open today with my personal testimony as an author. And um, when I, uh, you know, was growing up, I went into uh, nurses training out of uh, high school. So I was uh, trained as a nurse. I specialized in cardiovascular. Um, and uh, so I, I wasn't a Christian at the time. And when I became a Christian, I was just like so smitten by God. My whole life changed. And it was only um, a couple of years after that, that the Lord uh, called me to leave my career, my husband, his career. Um, I'd been in a nursing career for over 10 years at the time. And he called me to leave it all to serve him in the mission field. And so I was a preacher. I was an evangelist. I worked in missions for a number of years. And then when I was around 50, yes, five zero, the Lord uh, spoke to me, the Holy Spirit spoke to me during a devotion time one day and said, um, I want you to write a book. And he gave me the title of the book and what it was to be on. And he said, I want you to write this book. And my response to him was, but I'm not an author. I'd never even dreamt of becoming an author. I never thought of writing a book. And his response back to me was, but I am. I authored the scriptures. And if you will receive the author's anointing from me, you you will write for me. And so um, I realized that I heard from the Lord. So I simply positioned myself in faith to receive the author's anointing, like he had told me. So I said, in Jesus' name, I just received that author's anointing. And, um, and I accepted it by faith. I had no feelings. Fire did not burn in my bones. Uh, there was no lightning bolts from heaven that came and struck me and no angel appeared. It was honestly nothing. I didn't feel anything. And you don't have to feel the anointing. I just want to say that is the anointing abides within you and you don't have to feel it. But what I did is I did act upon it at that moment. I sat in front of my computer and I, and I said, okay, Lord, you got to show me what to do. You gave me the the topic, but show me what, what you want me to communicate. And he gave me a number of points, which became my working outline. And I started just filling it in and the Holy Spirit would empower me. He'd lead me to different scriptures. He'd show me different things. And as he showed me, I just wrote it out. And um, within just a few weeks, actually, I had a book. It wasn't a large one, but I had a book on that subject. And um, I had an, uh, an, an editor look at it. I self-published it. Um, and it was my first book. But then 
before it got into my hand to distribute, God downloaded another one to me. And that's what's going to happen to you. It's like once you have your first baby, and it's like a baby, isn't it? It's like giving birth to something. Once you have your first one, others will follow. I can almost guarantee that. And so I, uh, I got my first commissioning as an author um, when I was just over 50. I think I was around 51 at the time. And now I'm 72. So that's 20 years have gone by. And I have written over 105 books. Now, those aren't all books that I did myself. I've done about um, close to 40 that are just like books that I've written where I'm the sole author. Others of them I co-authored with others or contributed chapters inside of books of others. And also it includes manuals that I've written. Okay. So that all totaled 105, over 105 uh, books that I have authored since the author's anointing came on me. Okay. So I want you to know that this author's anointing is really real. And it's available to every believer because the reason that you are taking this class is because you have identified that there is a book in you. The Holy Spirit stirred your heart. This wasn't your own stirring. In fact, it must have been a pretty big stirring for you to sign up for this master class because there is a lot of commitment involved here. You, you are champions. I mean, you've made a massive commitment and that doesn't come by just, oh, well, maybe I'll become an author one day. No, it's because God has gripped your own soul and he's shown you that there's a book in you. And you made a tremendous investment into this class. So I can assure you that God has commissioned you to write your book. That is a given. And that is determined by the amount of passion and commitment that you are ready to make. That is the Holy Spirit has already inspired you. And now he wants you to get hold of the anointing to write um, and to scribe what he has put within your heart. And I'm telling you, it is going to be amazing. Your book is going to have impact. It is going to influence people. And uh, the one thing I love about books um, that is so, so powerful is when you write your book, you might write it this year and have it published, right? You're going to have it published. It's going to get put out there for people to read. And let's say um, 20 people read it this year. Okay, let's say 20 people read it. That is 20 people who have the input, the influence of what you put, put in that book inside of them now. But you see, next year, other people will have access to your book. The year after, people will have access to your book. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, people will still be ministered to by your book. And it lives on. And there are books that um, are some of my favorite that are in my library. Uh, for example, books by Andrew Murray um, that he wrote, you know, many, 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 many years ago that are still impacting masses today and that are building their faith because they're faith because they're in book form. And I want you to get a vision of the message that is on the inside of you. God gave it to you. He worked it into your life. He gave you understanding of it. But now he's saying, I need that to be given to others. I need that to be imparted to others. And he's already thanking you for being willing to give that message out to others. And it's very, very exciting. I'm very excited for, for the Lord uh, because of what you're going to give to him. And for those that are going to be ministered to by what you've allowed the Lord to work inside of you. It's just awesome. So God wants you to know that you're not just an ordinary author. I want you to get a hold of that. You are not just any author. You are a supernatural author. <laughs> you are a child of God. You are a supernatural being. So you're not just an earthly being. You're not an ordinary earthly being who's trying to get into heaven. From the moment that you receive Jesus Christ as your savior, you are a heavenly being living in the earth 
and you get to release heaven into the earth. That's how Jesus asked us to pray. He said, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So how does his will come into the earth? It's through you, through what he's put in you. It's going to spill out into the earth. And um, a number of uh, decades ago now, I received a vision from the Lord. It was an encounter into heaven. And it says in uh, John 14, verse 2, that there's actual, actually many dwelling places in heaven. It's almost like this, this big expanse with many rooms in it, many locations inside of heaven. Heaven's a very real place. It's not just a figment of someone's imagination. It's a very real place. And Jesus said that in heaven, there are many dwelling places, uh, John 14, 2. But one of the places that the Holy Spirit took me into was what I identified as a library. The reason I believe it was a library is because there was books, shelf after shelf, row after row of books. And the Holy Spirit showed me that there were books there that have already been written, books that are being written, and books that are going to be written. And your book is in that library. And it's just waiting to come out of the heavenly dimension into the earthly dimension. How is it going to get from that heavenly library into the earth? by you writing it, because God chose you to deliver that message into the earth. You have been specially chosen by God to bring that message into the earth. And there are so many books waiting to be written, and God is so thankful that you gave him your yes.